What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jay's Car Channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a wheel and tire cleaning on a 2016 Challenger SRT. This thing has massive, massive brakes. These Brembo's are 16 inches, put off a lot of dust. So when you're dealing with that, you want to use a really good wheel cleaner. And this Meguiar's Ultimate All-Wheel Cleaner is going to be your best friend. If you got a car like this or high performance vehicle, it just melts it off and it changes colors as it reacts to the brake content. So I'm going to try to demonstrate that in the video. I might also be using Adam's all-purpose cleaner for the tires. Uh, I think it's diluted like two to one, something like that, water to a uh, solution. So, you know, you can use it full strength or you can dilute it down. And these tires aren't too bad and the wheels honestly aren't that bad, but there's a lot of brake dust on them. This car has been on a road trip, probably uh, two, three hundred miles. So uh, that's how quickly the brake dust builds up on this vehicle. It only takes a couple hundred miles and uh, you know, stop and go traffic is even quicker. But um, I've also got a host of brushes and microfiber towels and a soapy water bucket. Uh, so I'm going to leave links to everything in the description. Uh, so I'm going to put this on the tripod and let's get going. So you want to shake this up. And uh, you want to apply this to a cool, dry surface. You uh, you don't want to apply this to a car after you've been driving it around. That's not going to do you any favors. It could stain your wheels, cause damage to your wheels. This is safe on all factory wheels. You just want to follow the recommendations on here. And uh, again, cool, dry surface. So you want to spray this on liberally and allow it to uh, work and penetrate to uh, remove the uh, ferrous material. Uh, you want to make sure you spray inside the barrel of the wheel. Uh, get your calipers, um, get inside every little nook and cranny you can get it into so that it can go to work and uh, do a lot of the work for you. So here we go. I'm gonna give this about a minute to two minutes to kind of work in here and penetrate. And uh, you'll start to notice as it starts to break down, it'll start to change kind of a purple color. Yeah, down here, you can definitely see it's got that purple, that dark purple look. So that means it's doing its job and it's breaking that stuff up. And it's uh, nasty, really nasty. Uh, <laughs> It's crazy how quick this stuff builds up on this car, um, but you know, that's the game you're in when you're in a vehicle that weighs 4,500 pounds, it has brakes the size of your head, just puts out a lot of dust. So here we go. What I'm going to do, take Adam's wheel brush, I'll actually spray a little bit of cleaner into the brush, just go to agitate my surface, this stuff just comes right off. Man. Magic. You can definitely see that purple coming off now. I always like to follow the, using the brush by going behind it with a like a utility microfiber towel. Get into the grooves of the wheel because you never know where you might have missed a spot. Get in there. The thing I like to do is take a trim and lug nut brush, spray a little cleaner into it, and go against this, onto this caliper, right? Get that junk off of there much as you can reach. Go against your uh, lug nuts here. Go up here behind the rim. Then 
again. This is a secret weapon. Speedmaster detail brush. This thing is awesome for getting into the barrels of the wheel. So take some cleaner, spray that in there. Start at the top. Get in there in the barrel. It's coming off. Look at that filth. It's oozing out of there, man. It's crazy. Right, so then, we go behind that with this wheel wheelie. Same thing. Just spray some cleaner into it. Let me go up here. Get it to the barrel. Get behind the spokes. Nastiness, man. A little wool bully. So this thing's gonna help me get to the areas I can't reach with the big one. Back in here. Huh? Against that caliper. And now that I've just gotten the stuff everywhere, I'm gonna go back one more time with this wheel brush and just this stuff up a little bit. Alright, so now I'm going to do the tires. So I'm going to take this all-purpose cleaner. Like I said, it's diluted. And just spray this tire down. This little tough shine brush get the scrub next thing I'm gonna take is this clean green monster microfiber this thing's awesome for getting stuff off your tire surface just take it same thing, just scrub the tires and uh, it'll pick everything up that uh, the brush didn't get. Doesn't look like it's pulling much, but you can still see stuff in there. I like to get in the groove right here between the wheel and the tire. some junk in there. Let's see. Some nastiness. So now it's time to rinse the wheel. Look at all that. Look at all that stuff. Always keep rinse this wash with me because I will inadvertently, inadvertently get overspray onto the paint. So I just like to take this rinse wash and spray it onto the uh, paint of the vehicle. It keeps me from having trouble with water spots. Another little trick I like to use, Adam CS3. This is a waterless wash infused with silica. And one thing you want to prevent is water spotting on either your paint or your wheels, it's the same thing. And this will help with that. Also add a little bit of shine, a little bit of protection. Easy way to put this on after you've rinsed it. Get you a microfiber towel. Spray some of this CS3 into the uh, towel. Spray some onto the surface of the wheel. And then just go to drying it. That's gonna be it. Done. 
because I got another way of cleaning wheels. Now these wheels aren't as dirty as the front wheels because these calipers are way smaller, so less brake dust comes off. And what I like to do is take this foamer, my Carbon Collective, and uh, put some soap and some all-purpose cleaner mix and water in there. It's probably like a, I don't know, uh, 30 to one water to uh, solution ratio, something like that. Um, you know, two, three ounces of soap and then the rest filled with uh, water and a little bit of all-purpose cleaner. Foam these wheels and tires down and then go to cleaning them. So, um, you know, this is electric and it just pressurizes, so I've already pressurized it. And I just go to spraying this thing. Take your wheel brush, and go to cleaning. Speedmaster wheel brush, go into the barrel. A little soap on it actually. A little all-purpose cleaner. Same with the wheel woolly. Take your trim lug nut brush, spray a little all purpose cleaner into it. As a last step, I'm going to go with a microfiber towel. Place the wheel. Now it's time for the tire. Spray it down. Once again, it's time to rinse. Take my rinse this wash and knock down any overspray. I'll take my CS3 and go to applying that on the surface of the wheel. Job done.